Good morning to one and all. I am Aru studying in 9th standard of Kakatiya Olympiad School, Yamuna campus. Welcome to our special news bulletin. Today's news headlines are Gordon Brown champions new funding push for global education. Niti Aayog wants India must boost AI education or risk falling behind. Professor Jay Shankar, Telangana Agricultural University, signs Memorandum of Understanding with Western Sydney University for International Agro Education and Research. Athletics Federation of India selects Nagpur Sneha Dabale in Indian team for South Asian Senior Athletics Championships. Visually challenged student from Nizamabad wins a National Science Prize. India creates history. Women's Cricket Team of India won ICC World Cup in the year of 2025. Yamuna campus students shine bright in different sports. Yamuna campus students get up for grand test. Yamuna campus students shine at evening study hours. Excitement builds for our upcoming events at Yamuna campus. Good morning everyone. I am Abhijit studying in 9th standard of Kakadu Olympiad School, Yamuna campus. Gordon Brown champions new funding push for global education. Former UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown is advocating and has launched the initiative called International Finance Facility for Education. Former UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown is advocating and has launched the initiative called International Finance Facility for Education. It aims to raise approximately $1.5 billion in low-cost loans and funding to support education in poorer countries. For students globally, this has two implications. One, it shows the global importance of educational equity and investment. So, issues like access, digital divides and quality matters. Two, for students in developing countries, it may open new scholarships, partnerships and collaboration opportunities. A warm greetings to everyone. I am Samar studying in 9th standard of Kakatiya Olympiad School, Yamuna campus. A recent report by Niti Ayog emphasizes that India produces fewer than 500 AI-related PhDs annually, placing it far behind countries like the US and China. The report recommends setting up more AI departments in universities, building interdisciplinary programs, and introducing AI at school level increasing faculty industry exchange. The Telangana Agriculture University and Western Sydney University have signed a Memorandum of Understanding. Under it, a dual BSc Agriculture program, three years in Telangana, one year in Australia. Annually, 25 to 30 students from Telangana will study at WSU, plus AI-based Agritech Research Collaboration. Asma, a visually talented student from a special needs school in Nizamabad won a National Science Prize for her innovative project titled Smart Navigation Stick for Visually Impaired. It uses sensors and voice guidance to help navigate safely. She was the only student from Telangana to receive this award. Other students from her school also won medals in state-level chess competitions, showing the school's focus on both academics and extracurricular excellence. Neha Dapale of age 22 from Nagpur has been selected to represent India in 400 meter hurdles at South Asian Senior Athletics Championships. This was conducted from October 24th to 26th in the year of 2025. She has good credentials such as silver at National Open Meet and bronze at National Games and many more. Team India lifted their first ever ICC Women's World Cup title at D.Y. Patel Stadium, Mumbai, defeating South Africa by 52 runs. Under Herman Preet Kaur's leadership, Shefali Verma, Renuka Singh, Deepthi Sharma delivered stellar performances in the final match. A proud and historic victory of India that ignited nationwide celebrations and inspired millions of young girls across India. Yamuna campus celebrates our sports champions who are selected for district, state and national levels. Harshit of grade 9 and Rahul of grade 8 selected at state level in beach volleyball competitions. P. Hirsch of grade 10 won gold and qualified for nationals, while Talha of grade 8 and Josefa of grade 7 
secured bronze at state level taekwondo competitions. Two were young yogis qualified for state level in under 10, under 12 and under 16 categories in yoga competitions. Sathvik of grade 9 and Rishikesh of grade 8 selected for under 14 state level cycling events. Andrutvik of grade 7 hit state level selection in SGF under 14 category at archery competitions. In Kabaddi, 55 students qualified for district level and 6 students got selected for state level. The management applauded the young champions for their talent, teamwork and dedication, keeping the Yamuna campus spirit roaring high. Our Yamuna campus students geared up for the grand test. Our students are preparing with great focus and enthusiasm for the upcoming grand test, showing true commitment towards their academic excellence. Our Yamuna campus students shine in evening study hours. Our students showed study improvement that reflected in their marks. A hearty congratulations to all for their dedication. Students of our Yamuna campus are eagerly looking forward to the upcoming events like Tetronica, Kridocho and the medal presentation ceremony which are filled with fun, innovation and celebration. Yamuna campus sports achievements at district level. 50 students in Kabaddi, 12 students in volleyball, 14 students in yoga, 5 students in taekwondo, 8 students in basketball, 12 students in skating, 2 students in table tennis. In totality, 1 of 3 students got selected at district level. Yamna campus sports achievements at state level. 6 students in Kabaddi, 2 students in volleyball, 9 students in yoga, 5 students in taekwondo, 2 students in basketball, 7 students in skating. In totality, 31 students got selected at state level. Yamna campus sports achievements at national level. One student in Kabaddi, one student in yoga, two students in taekwondo and overall, four students were selected for national level. Yamna campus sports achievements at international level. Two students got selected at international level in taekwondo competitions. Yamna campus students set record-breaking sports achievements from district to state and from national to international selections. A total of 140 students have been selected. Hearty congratulations to all our sports stars. Thank you for watching our KOS Yamna Campus Special News Bulletin.